Hello friends, we welcome you to yet another session of vocabulary today. We have an interesting session coming up today in which we'll try and understand verbs through the analysis that is dividing them into roots and prefixes. As we have learned in the previous session, root is an integral part of a word without which a word does not make any sense. Prefix on the other hand is anything which is added in the beginning of the word. Suffix on the other hand is added at the end of the word. As we have taken an example like interminable, in interminable, terminate, termin is the verb, termin means to stop, able is a suffix, able indicates can do approach or the ability, interminable on the other hand is used as a negative prefix which changes the meaning of the word to its opposite. So interminable is anything which cannot be stopped or which cannot be terminated. So we'll try and understand words in a very interesting manner by dividing the words into its root part and we would analyze the suffix and prefix for every one of the words. So let us pick up the first prefix for the day and let us discuss around that. A prefix like photo, that means any word, if it has photo in the beginning of the word, the meaning has got something to do with light. Let us look at different words which can be framed around that. Looking at the first word which is photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is again related to light. Then you have a word like photograph. Photograph obviously when it is clicked there is a light. Photostat needs light again. Photography which is again for the purpose of writing. It's the signs. So it has got light again. So all these words which had photo in the beginning, photo as a prefix, the meaning of all the words was actually related to light. So this is what you mean by a prefix. Let us continue with one more example. The prefix here is re which is for back or again. Some of the easiest examples can be revert. When somebody says I'll revert to you that means he'll speak with you again or he'll come back to you so that is re a word like renaissance if you've heard of it that was used in classical era so revival of old things was renaissance return again has the same root so re when it is used as a prefix it implies back or again let's look at certain words which can be framed out of it the first word is report when you report something, that means you think back about the same topic and you give it to somebody. Retract, which is for withdrawing. When you retract, that means you go back to the same thing and you get it out of its root. Words like revise, regain. Regain is when you get something back. So as said, re, when it is used as a prefix, would have the meaning of back or again regain the next root is semi semi is for half semi is again used as a prefix only when you say semicircle that means you are talking about half part of a circle semi final that means you've not reached to the final yet you've reached to the half of the finals semi conscious somebody who's not fully conscious somebody who's partially conscious would be semi conscious the next root is tele. Tele is for distance. A word like television, what do you think is the meaning of the word? Tele is the prefix here. Vision on the other hand is the main root. So vision is basically to watch, to view, to see something. Tele is for far distance. So when you view something that is coming from a great distance or that is coming from far, you would be calling it a television. Telephone. What is for phone? Phone is sound. So when you have something which is coming from a great distance, when you hear something that is coming from far, you would be calling it a telephone. Telegraph. That means you get something in written from a farther distance. Telegraph. Telepathy is also using the same term which is distance. The next root here is un. Un is also used in the negative manner like the roots a, uh, an or ntr. Unintended when there is no intention of doing it. 
unarmed having no arms untamed untamed is somebody who's uncontrollable tame is when you make somebody or something homely untamed which cannot be controlled unharmed uncooked are all the suff- prefixes for not they give it a negative meaning now if you remove un from all these words here they would give you a positive idea if you remove un from unintended it would become positive similarly unarmed would become armed untamed tamed unharmed would become harmed uncooked would turn into cooked so all these words if they have to be converted into positive form just remove this prefix and your job is done now that was a little bit about prefixes that we have learned we talked about several prefixes like un which was a negative prefix we talked about a prefix like tele which was for distance this was not a negative prefix we talked about semi semi was for half we refer to words like semi circle semi final and semi conscious we did a prefix like re which was for back or again retract report regain were some of the words we did a prefix like photo which was for light so again all of these prefixes as said earlier a prefix obviously has to be added in the beginning of the word it cannot be in the middle it cannot be at the end when something is added at the end that is known as a suffix you don't call it a prefix anymore now understand this word prefix pre is beginning before fix when you fix something suffix on the other hand is something which comes at the end root the main root on the other hand is the middle part of a word so after learning different kinds of prefixes we move on to the next part of the session which is vocabulary through picture associations this is a very interesting approach of doing vocabulary wherein we have certain interesting pictures and stories which are woven around a word which would definitely help you in having a better retention of the word So let us start with this very first word which is ad lib. Now what is ad lib? Ad lib is basically for improvising or delivering spontaneously. Now what does that mean? Let us understand this by looking at this conversation in the picture. It appears to be some kind of drama wherein there are two characters. The female character says, "Oh Romeo, you're so fly. Did I not see thou cruising in your wicked gondola with your geese?" the male character responds by saying that's not in the script so that is what is ad lib ad lib is something which is done on impromptu basis something which is not prepared or something which is not thoroughly done when you improvise something or when you deliver something spontaneously that is ad lib let's look at the synonyms words like impromptu impromptu means on the spot something which is not prepared for or off hand Let us understand these words in detail. When you say an impromptu presentation, that means a presentation for which no time is given to you to prepare. You are just given a topic and you have to deliver a presentation. Those of you who are preparing for some of the management entrance examinations, you must have heard of this college called as FMS, Faculty of Management Studies, which is a part of Delhi University. FMS is known for its impromptu presentations, which are known as extemporaneous. So what happens is when you enter you find a panel in front of you and they give you a topic they don't give you time to prepare on the topic you can just take a few seconds time and you need to start so this is what you will be calling an impromptu presentation or extempore extempore is not the synonym to impromptu that refers particularly to a presentation or a speech to be delivered So this word ad lib that we are doing here it's quite similar it's quite close to the word impromptu which basically implies improvising or delivering spontaneously Let's look at this next word now which is bombast Now who's bombast the word can be either bombast or bombastic both of them are adjective forms only which are used for somebody who speaks a lot or one who's very showy by his nature one who's very pompous who likes talking too much about himself who's wordy in speech or writing which other people generally don't like much 
he is somebody who likes making exaggerated claims he talks a lot about himself about his possessions about different things that he's done and other people obviously don't like his nature and behavior so let us see who's the bombastic one here in the picture there is one who's speaking and let's see what does he say my heart is cast down into the pit of despair such is the fervency of my angst in mere moments a conflagration shall erupt such as we have never before seen and look at the other people the way they are getting annoyed out of his way of talking so that is a very bombastic way of talking that means you are making a show off to how much well do you understand language if you do it keep it with yourself you don't need to show it off so that is what is bombastic and we need to understand this word bombastic is negative in the connotation it is not taken in the positive sense bombastic is one who likes making a lot of show off the synonyms are words like grandiosity grandiose would be an adjective for this grandiosity is a noun airs is another word which is used as a synonym bomb blast of words is what is bombast let us look at this word now which is embellish what is embellish embellish is to make beautiful by ornamenting or adding details sometimes fictitious to a story when you add a certain details which are making it too flowery and beautiful this is what you would be calling an embellish so here this school girl appears to be making something very beautiful she's doing some embroidery she's making the item very beautiful by ornamenting she's adding a lot of things to it and it can be certain times fictitious also normally refers to a literature to a story or to a movie so that is what you'll be calling an embellishment synonyms are words like adorn decorate and festoon all of them are used in the verb forms and all of them have the same meaning the interesting association here is embroider with relish and you should also remember this word embellish one who embellishes he definitely always relishes he always enjoys that feeling so this is what is embellish